Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day's video. What we are doing today is... What are we doing today? Was that a cringy intro? Nah, we can get cringier. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day's video. Today's new video is going to be the most lit vlog on the planet. Was that cringy enough? Not yet. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another day's video. What we got planned here today is to make the world's lightest scooter forks. I can't see anything. <laughs> what? Did somebody say my name? Oh. Scooters are not gonna help you. No, this is not Raymond Warner. Yes, he does come here, but he doesn't work here. Oh, well, you didn't have, you don't have to be so mean. I got all my fame from him. What are you talking about? I, I make videos too. We all work very hard. Why? Why would you even say that? Why would you even say that? I'm a horrible person. Oh. There was a cringy intro. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's video. Well, what we're going to be doing today is the top five lot modest. What the? We are going to be doing the top five lightest scooter forks out on the market. Now, you guys might be saying, Dakota Schutz rides Ethic Maros. Claudia Spinesi rides Ethic Maros. But if you actually look into it, the Aztec Anthem forks and the Aztec Radix forks are actually lighter than at least it says on the internet. So what we're going to be doing today is testing that theory and also a couple other very light scooter forks that you guys can be that you guys can be buying on Scooter Zone's website. Make sure to go check it out. Link's down in the description. Make sure to go check it out. I said check it out like five freaking times! But hey, that doesn't change the fact that you guys got to use proper code STEVE on both scooters on MQ. In the I also gotta do the first notification shout out. It's not a notification! The first comment shout out, we gotta get down to that right now. The first comment on yesterday's video. If you guys wanna get a shout out on yesterday's video, all you guys gotta do is do the first comment. Oh, Rusty Watson. Yo, congratulations, Rusty. You won the first notification shout out again, but you're not the only one getting the shout out. Since you were the first one, which, by the way, Rusty, I highly appreciate it. First notification shout out goes to Mystic Squaff. Thank you very much, Mystic. Your name is also Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. But, anyways, guys, if you guys want to get a first comment shout out, all you guys gonna do is be the first comment. It's pretty self explanatory. I'm um, gonna also be doing notification squad shout out at the end. Sure to call the notification squad. But also, that's not the last thing on this. Boom. How you guys like my new hat? So, I'm pretty sure all you guys know what Supreme is. Supreme, obviously, hype beast, and everything like that. One of the customers over at Scooter Zone, they went and they decided to surprise me with this awesome Supreme hat. Thank you very, very much for the Supreme hat. It means a lot to me. I know this this hat costed you like 55 bucks. Is you guys can see, I have grease on my hands, so I'm trying not to stain it. But 55 bucks, or 54 dollars, sorry, and Supreme logo. So we kind of switched it up a little bit. Instead of doing the top five lighter scooter forks, we're switching into the top 10. First up, we got Apex Quantum Forks. Next up, we got Elite Profile Forks. After that, Fusion Saber Forks. Next, Root Industries, Air Fork. Next, Fasten Bullet Fork. And its close relative, the NBCNC Fork in IHC. And after that, the NB's brother, the NB SOB V3 in HIC. After that, we got the Aztec Anthem Forks. Next up, we got Ethic Marrow Forks. And last but not least, we got Aztec Radix Forks. All right, so to start off the list, we're gonna start off with Apex Quantum Forks. The Apex Quantum Forks, I have ridden these. These are amazingly strong forks. Um, the only downside was is that they didn't last me too long. Then again, I did drop them in acid. What? 
These forks are made with a 2000 series billet aircraft aluminum. I hope I said that right. I, I'm, I believe I said that correctly. These are made with a high aircraft aluminum and this is CNC'd from a machine. So it's gonna be nice and good and strong. Next we have the Elite Profile Forks. Now the Elite Profile Forks, these fit 125 millimeter wheels. And they're also used with a 7075 aluminum. So they're gonna be nice and strong made with aircraft grade aluminum. We're gonna be weighing them all at the end. Fork is the Fusion Saber Fork. This fork uses a 6061 aluminum as well. I, I've never ridden it personally, so I don't have an opinion on it. Bring it back, Steve, bring it back. Uh, this fork is a good IHC fork. It is the heaviest out of all of the IHC forks that we have though. So keep that in mind, it is the heaviest. Next up, we have the Root Industry Air Fork. This one runs IHC, but they do come in standard as well. So if you guys are looking to get HYC on your scooter, make sure to get this in standard. It's a really cool looking fork. I like how it looks. Next, we have the Fast and Bullet Fork. This fork is a tank. This is probably one of the best IHC forks you guys can get out on the market today. It fits 120 millimeter wheels. Come the black, oil slick, silver, blue. I think that's it. Use the 6061 aluminum as well. Same with the NV CNC fork. This fork runs about $65 on Suda. Make sure to go check that out. Next, we have NV SOB V3 fork. This fork is made for 120 millimeter wheels. If you guys are running the NV Lambos, and hollow core wheels. These forks fit perfectly with them. They made them a little bit thicker, so so when you go and do ride the 26 millimeter wide urethane, you will not have any problems with it rubbing up against it. Uh, that works with both Fasten and NV forks, all of them, completely. This fork runs about $85 on Scooter and website. Now we're getting into the forks that everybody is asking which one is lighter. The Ethic and the Aztec. Here we have the Aztec Anthem forks. I personally ride this fork on my scooter all the time. When I mean all the time, I mean I pretty much would not ride another fork other than this one or a Merrill fork. Now when I was talking about all of those forks, I was saying 6061. But now we are getting into different types of metal. This fork is a 7075 T6 alloy, which is a which is a stronger aluminum, but a lot of the reasons why people don't necessarily use that all the time versus the 6061, 6061 is a lot easier to machine. 7075 is what they use for aircraft so you can get them so you can get the maximum amount of lightness and strength behind your aluminum metals. Now the fork that everybody has been asking me about. The Ethic Marrow Forks. Now the Ethic V2 fork, it's it's a lot thinner. If you guys want to take a chance of losing weight to compromise for strength, then go for it. Now this fork is forged out of one solid piece of 7075 aluminum. This fork is insanely light. Now when you hold this fork, there's hardly anything there to like really feel. The main thing that's going to be the heaviest on here is going to be the compression bolt, which is what I'm unscrewing right now. Boom. Extremely light. Highly recommend you guys go check it out on Scooter Zone's website. Links down in the description. Next up, we have the Aztec Radix forks. Now this is the now this fork looked very very close to the Anthem fork. Now this fork is a tiny bit different. So it does have a built-in crown race, a lot like the other one. It is made with 7075 T6 aluminum. Now this fork does have a couple of differences between that and the Anthem fork. Like for one, it's still made with 7075 T6 aluminum, but it's still a very, very strong fork. You still get that 7075 aluminum behind it. All right, anyways, but next, let's get into the weighing and seeing which forks are the lightest for all you guys to buy, in case you guys are wondering, what are the lightest forks? First up, the Apex Quantums. These forks weigh about 11.8 ounces. Next, the Elite Profile Forks. These forks weigh about 11.1 ounce. Next, the Fusion Saber Fork. Now, the thing with this is it doesn't have the full compression kit on it. So it's probably gonna weigh a little bit less, but add a couple ounces because the compression kit actually does make a difference. This fork weighs 10.6 ounces, so probably about 11 ounces for the whole fork with the compression kit all installed. It's about 12.6 ounces. And with all, without the compression, 10.2 ounces. The fast and bullet fork, 12.5 ounces. Without everything, which this is gonna add a lot of weight, 9.5. NVC and C forks, 9.6. So the NVCNC and the Fast and Bullet Forks, pretty much it's all personal preference and up to you guys, whatever you guys want. 
Now for the SOBV3s. 9.5 ounces. So if this was in an IHG form, this would probably be around 8.8 .8 ounces. But since it does have the thicker fork tube because it is standard, it is a little bit heavier. Now we're starting to get into the forks that are the main part of this video. The Aztec forks and the Marrow forks. Let's weigh these. These have the compression bolt already installed and the axles. So this is the 100% full weight of your fork when you ride this on your scooter. This fork with the compression bolt and everything it is topped out at 9.6 ounces. Now, like I said, if I took out this right here and let's weigh it without the compression bolt, it's 8.4 ounces. That is an extremely light fork, so this right now is winning as far as the lightest fork. Next up, the marrow. Next up, the Ethic Marrow Fork. Nine point two ounces. So already, this is a little bit heavier, and that hasn't even been weighed with the compression bolt in it. Let's see how light it is now. Already, the Aztec Anthem Fork is winning as far as weight. Can the Aztec Erotics Forks win? Let's find out. I screwed the bolt just because. All right, everyone. Can this be? the lightest scooter fork in the world. 7.5 ounces. That's a whole ounce lighter than its brother, the Anthem Fork. Now, the only thing I would recommend Aztec doing if you guys are watching this is make the fork tube a little bit longer, like maybe like a quarter of an inch or so, and then it'll be literally perfect for it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me down in the description on Instagram, and also follow me on Twitter. I just went on my Twitter the other day after not being on it in five months, and then I found out I had like 2,000 followers. So, if you guys want to follow me down on Twitter, the link is down in the description as well. The notification squad goes to Devin Caldwell. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Notification squad, comment down below. All right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and I got. I already said that. Peace out.